wanna be around her, be around her Now I've come to terms over you And although it hurts, there's nothing I wouldn't do Yes, your girl is back with another video. Yes, I look a little house comfortable, but I'm comfortable because I'm in here getting ready to start cooking some lasagna family. But before I start cooking this homemade lasagna, I want to thank you all for actually coming back, tuning in. Yes, chiming in, chiming in with your girl. I say chiming in, <laughs> but chiming in with your girl. Yes, I'm tongue-tied uh, just a little bit. But um, just to let you all see how this is my first time in a long time. It's been about two years almost since that I cooked homemade lasagna. So I just wanted to tune in and let you all um, cook with me today. And maybe we can learn some tips from each other. So today, I'm just like I said, family, I'm going to be cooking some homemade lasagna. I have the noodles. You're going to need your noodles. You're going to need your fresh ground turkey beef. I know some of you all like the regular ground beef, but let me turn this down some because it's very hot. But I got my water boiling already for my noodles. And then I have my meat. I'm going to cook that first, family. You want to cook that first. But I'm going to let you all see exactly what all that I have. I have some already seasoned blend um, onions, tomatoes onions bell peppers and it have green peppers celery and if you don't want to cut up any onions bell pepper celery you can get the ones that's already cut up family or you can get these here sometimes when i have time i'll cut up the green peppers and red peppers and sweet peppers this is what this is family so let you all see exactly what all that i have but i'm gonna use the blend chop already made um onions and bell peppers and then i have some extra sharp cheese that's going to be going in there and then i have the mozzarella cheese a big bag of this oh yes i want my um lasagna very cheesy family so if you all want a very cheesy lasagna yes get you some of that and then i have some parmesan cheese that's going to be mixed into that. And then I have my cottage cheese. This is the cottage cheese that you can actually blend. But you all going to see exactly how I blend it. And then I have my um, spaghetti sauce. Well, this is the sauce that I actually use. I have the meat one and then I have the onion and garlic one. So I mix it sometimes just to give it a good little flavor. And then I have some oil. This is what I drop like in my noodles family. And then I put a little bit in my vegetables um, that I'm stir frying. So I have also some garlic powder. This is some garlic powder. Uh, garlic powder that I have. And then I have some complete seasoning. This is what I'm going to be putting. Oh my God. If y'all don't have none of this, we grew up on this family. So Get you some complete seasoning if you don't have any. It's very good, like the season your meat. And then I have some um, some of this adobe um, seasoning too. You can use that. And you can use that on fish. And you can use it on seafood, um, chicken, all kind of stuff. So let's get right into it, family. So first, I heated my stove. And then I already have my water boiling for my noodles. So that's already hot, and I'm going to drop those in there about time uh, my meat is finished. So I'm going to turn the water down just a little bit, family. But I pray that you all are having a blessed day because your girl is having a blessed day. Make sure you hit that thumbs up. Give your girl a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. So I'm going to put just enough in here to season. You see how much I put in here, family? Just to season my meat. So I'm going to let that heat up. And then let it get soft a little bit just to um, stir fry it. 
So, while that's steaming, then I'm going to get my turkey meat, like I said, family. And this is some very good turkey meat. I'm trying to cut back from the beef. I may look a little oily because of the heat, but it's okay. So, hold on just a minute, family. I got to get something to open my ground beef. I'll be right back. All right, family, I'm back. I got it open now. So I already washed my hands. That's what I did when before I came back on here. Made sure my hands was clean and sanitized. I washed it before I started, and then I washed it again. Um, so now I'm going to put my turkey meat in here, and I'm going to let it cook all the way. Some people will cook the whole thing, but it depends on how many people that you are serving. So... I don't like touching my meat, so I would use a spatula or something like that to um, take it out. Because you know meat carries like bacteria too. So if you put your hands on it, it's not good. So I advise you all, family, get your spatula because you don't want no dirty meat. And you don't want no bacteria in it. So, I'm going to put a little bit more in there. This is half. This is like a medium size. But it's just me and my son going to be eating this. So, and I'm going to let it cook and steam down. And then I'll take the rest of it and I put it in a Ziploc bag. Uh-oh. Give me just one moment, family. I I have another one here, but I got to pick it up off the floor. Just one moment. Okay, now, family, I'm back. So, I'm going to get this ground beef meat to cook it. And I want to make sure that it cooked all the way. Let it, And I'll put a, a top on it, too, to let it help steam down. Because I like my meat cooked all the way. I know some people like it rare, uh, medium rare. But I like mine's cooked all the way. So, I'm going to let this cook, family. And your girl will be right back as soon as it finished. Y'all stay tuned. Another tip, family. I had to come back on right quick. So, before you actually let your meat cook all the way, we're going to put our noodles in and let those be cooking. So, I have a box of um, the lasagna noodles. And I will be putting those in there. But before I put them in there, I have to put, hold on just a minute, a drop of olive oil. And it's very good to keep your um, noodles from sticking. So I put a drop in there, just a drop. And it's going to help your noodles um, keep from sticking. So that's a tip, family. All right. So you want to make sure that you put your water inside your pot and let it steam. So, and then you actually, they're going to be hanging out of the pot. Some of them, if you don't have a big enough pot. So I would flip it around on the other side once that, you know, the side that in there gets soft. So... Just to give you a tip, family, if you don't have a bread big pot to put your noodles in, it's okay. You can flip it around. And these are the size noodles that I have. And I don't like the real thick, thick noodles, so that's why I'm putting this, these um, sizes in there. So you can find the real, you know, um, kind of like if you want the thin spaghettis, but they're not too thin, but they, you know, a good size for your um so I put a little bit in there. And then once that finish, I, I flip it back over on the opposite. Flip this in the inside. So I'll let you all see how I come out with the meat and the noodles. I'll be right back. Okay, family. So now that I let my meat cook just a little bit, I'm going to add me some garlic powder. 
This is what I'm adding in in um side the meat. Yes. Yes. Make it delicious, baby. And then I have my complete seasoning. Hold on just a minute. And then I'm going to add me some more little flavor in there. Because I want my meat juicy. All right. Yes. Then I already have my vegetables down in there, family. Y'all see how I spread the noodles out? And then I flip some of them over in the inside. So... Whip it up, whip it, whip, 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 whip it up. Yes. So it's turning out pretty good. The meat smells so good. Oh my gosh. Yes, but you can put over how much of seasoning that you want to put in your um food. That's your choice. Cooking very good. Y'all see the veggies in there? Okay. One moment. So now I'm flipping them over. Because sooner or later, all of them going to be able to go down in there. You want to make sure that your noodles are cooking well.
All right, family, I want to come back and let you all see how this amazing lasagna came out, family. Look at that. It very cheesy. OMG. This is going to be so delicious. So thank you all for tuning in. Until next time, y'all be blessed. Give your girl a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that you can be subscribed every time that your girl upload a video, family. Love you all. Enjoy. Bye.